In this video, I will show you how to calculate the bell curve or the normal distribution curve in Microsoft Excel. In our first column, we have the daily production data available. And in our third and the fourth column, we have to figure out the mean and standard deviation in order to calculate the normal distribution. So let's start with the mean. For that, you have to type equal average. Select this one and then select this whole data and press enter button. That's how you can easily calculate the mean value. And now it's time to find the standard deviation. For that, we have to type equal STD. And here you can select dot P for the whole and for dot S if you have the sample value. I'm selecting this P. You can select this whole data, press enter button, and this is the standard deviation. Since I do not want the uh, this too much values after the decimal point, so you can remove it from here. Now we have the mean and standard deviation, and now it's time to find the normal distribution. For that, you have to type equal norm norm dist this one and then here we have these four argument x means standard deviation and cumulative we have this x value the first one 40 and to select the mean value although we can select this this one mean this is in the c column and second row this is c2 but if you do not want to select it from here let me tell you one other way this is in the c column right and in the second row so you can easily type here c2 so this is the manual method as well after selecting this value we have to put a comma and then in order to select the standard deviation we can type d2 or manually select it like this put a comma again and now for cumulative uh, for mine value this is false press enter button and this is the value of normal distribution but if I click it here and you can see on the top I do not want to change these means and standard deviation values for that I have to type dollar signs the method for that is very simple just click on this C2 on top and press F4 key from your keyboard and similarly we have to do the same procedure for D2 for of standard deviation value. Just click here and press F4 key from your keyboard and the dollar signs are available here. Press enter button and now we are all set. Just drag these values up till here and here we have the values of the normal distribution available. Now we have to plot the curve for that. We have to select this data X and normal distribution values. Go to insert here we have recommended charts click on it go to all charts here we have x and y scatter and select this one this option and click ok and here we have the bell curve or normal dis normal distribution curve available uh, we can rename it uh, according to our use i am just typing here bell curve and you can change the design it from here here we have uh, the values for the bell curve it's starting from 40 and ending at 85 and here we you can say it's starting from 40 and ending it at 85 and here we have all the data points available as well uh, for the daily production or x value you can say and the normal distribution uh, value as well so if I have to trace this value of 50, this is 50 and the value of the normal distribution is available there as well. Similarly, here we have all the values. We can trace any value on this bell curve. So this is all about how we can plot normal distribution or bell curve in Microsoft Excel.